All right, here we have a King of Fans ceramic heater. Um, this is one of those cases of something I got years ago. It got lost, and I just found it today. It was stowed away in the laundry room here at my grandma's. I don't know how it got there, but that's where it's been for at least four or five years. I haven't seen it since then. But I was kind of glad to find it. Because this little heater here. It, it kind of. It's kind of sentimental. For two reasons. One. Um, this was like one of the first heaters. I remember seeing as a kid. One of these black box ones. I don't think it was a king of fans. But I could be wrong. It looked pretty much identical. To this one. Um, we had that heater for a little while. Don't know whatever happened to it. I think it got put in the basement to uh, warm up the pipes. And then the pipes flooded and the heater was gone in the same the time, basically. But anyway, this little heater I got at a flea market or something years ago. And... This little heater got me through a lot of winters back in high school. Um, the house we were living in did not have a furnace. And in the wintertime, I would have to use a heater. And this was the heater that got me through all the winters back in the day. This little heater, it's, it's a trooper. But... The reason I use this one is because, you know, it was a good quality heater. It was the only heater I had that wouldn't, you know, that put out really good heat. And it actually kept the room really warm in the winter. Um, unlike some of the fan force heaters I used before this. And some of the other cheaper ones that I had before this, too. I had one of those plastic Titan heaters. I actually had, like, two of those. Both of them ended up blowing up in sparks. And... I believe this is what replaced those. I found it at the flea market, and I used it ever since. This little heater has been one of my favorites. I'm not gonna lie. Even still has the magnet that I put on here for whatever reason. There's the fan. I don't know if this one has a computer fan in it. I think it uses a little, uh, you know, little heater motor. Can't think of the name of the motor. I think it's a shaded pole motor. It's the same motor that's in that heater. But anyway. Here's the back of it. This one doesn't have anything on the back. Some of these had controls back here. Which I have quite a few of these. Because I I like these little heaters. They're really good quality heaters. And they put out good heat. Here's the other side. The top of it. This thing's in really good shape. And my name's still on the bottom of it. Electric air heater, model number H0414. Manufacturer number 5A0013692. Maybe that's a year. I don't know. It's possibly it could have been made in 92. Made in Taiwan, Republic of China. UL listed, unfocused. UL listed, focused. Yeah. Quality control. And you know, for a little heater, this little thing held up pretty well. Looks like a, it has a dent in the top of it. This thing's pushed in, but 
pretty much the far part of the course for these things. But anyway, here's the fan. It has a little bit of a rattle when it runs. But it really ain't that bad. It does have power and safety. I don't remember if this one has a tip over switch. It does. So yeah. Go to low heat. Pushing out some nice good heat. Not quite as much as it does on high. You know, on high, this thing, this thing will sweat you out of a room. Here's high. It gets pretty warm pretty quick. Puts up nice heat. I need to get one of those temperature gun things. But yeah, this little heater, it'll warm up a room real quick. That's why it was one of my favorites for so long. It still is, actually. Probably one of the best little heaters I have. And we'll go back to fan. Let it cool down a little bit. fan in the back. Got a pretty good coast down on it. I'm not sure if this is one of those computer fans or an actual motor in there, but I know some of these had computer fans in them, basically. But yeah, there you go. The King of Fans ceramic heater. From early 90s maybe 93 but anyway hope you enjoyed thanks for watching